Hello and welcome to Project Cars on the PC at the Mac settings as always. Now I've had this on my drive for quite a while now, completely forgot that I'd actually even created these um, as I was busy with work and doing a few other things. But we're going to take this beast out on a track that at the time it was the first time I'd ever raced it. And uh, I'm going to give you my thoughts on the game, on what I like, what I don't like, um, thoughts on where, where it could improve or is it just... The nirvana of racing games so let's get in this beast get on the road and let's rip up some tarmac so as i said this is the first time i've done this track this is the california highway uh, it's not the longest of tracks but just listen to that audio my god it sounds incredible now i'm gonna have this view for a little bit while the tires warm up just to let you have a look at some of the amazing graphics and i'm gonna talk to you in a second let's just have a enjoy the visual treat for just a few seconds here. Now with all racing games it's a matter of getting used to the vehicles. Just listen to that though. Uh, before I get off track, that is one of the best things about this game, barring the visuals, which are really, really nice. I mean, I'm getting, as you can see up at the top, about 53, 55 frames a second on this. Um, and everything's pretty much on the max, apart from I turned down grass, um, because it seemed to affect the frame rate a little bit in motion blur, which I, I don't like anyway, and I never have, so I turn that off. Everything else is quite high. Um, audio on this game, my god this game sounds incredible, I would love to hear what this sounds like on a 5.1 with some real good bass boost, hey up mate, ramming into me there, um, I'm actually playing this with a 360 pad and it is so sensitive, this game, if you want to play this game it has to be with a wheel, um, and I've actually got my wheel on order, my wheel's coming, so with a shifter, um, I can't wait to play this game on release. As I said, this is in alpha at the minute. It's nowhere near finished. The devs are going to be updating this all the time. Uh, but I want you to get in here. Look what we're doing down here. 170 nearly, 170 miles an hour blasting down here. Now, with all my racing games, it has to be the helmet cam. Yeah, it's just much more immersive, much more. Uh, it makes it feel more of a. I got rammed up the ass there. Um, but there are little things that are really going to make this game amazing with the steering wheel. You can actually hear and feel the car bottom out on some of these jumps. Um, so I can imagine if you had a butt kicker and everything else, this game would be amazing. Graphics, I don't need to tell you about the graphics. You can see on screen, my god. Um, I'm sure we've all seen the effects of it's raining and things like that. And I may do some more, but I like this out of focus feel, especially when you're getting up to high speed. Um, all the cars feel different. This is definitely, if you're wondering, this is definitely in the simulation vein. This is not arcade whatsoever. I'm sure that you can turn on um, extra, uh, you know, sort of nubilators uh, to help you get around the track. But why would you want to if you've got a game that, that's this visually orgasmic? Oh, big words. And <laughs> the audio is amazing. There's hardly any slowdown. I mean, I've tried this game by putting on um, 40. Um, opponents and it didn't affect the frame rate whatsoever rain did a little bit when it was absolutely pissing it down affected by about five frames but I mean you know it, it's to be expected um, they're updating the physics and the tracks and the lighting and everything else so when this actually comes out on launch I can imagine this game is gonna be fantastic now what do I think of this compared to a set of Corsa I love this game I know even in its current state this game is just really exciting to play and that's what you want out of a racing game it's got to feel visceral and exciting and that's what this helmet cam really does give you by the time you've learned the tracks like I'm being a bit of a newbie bumping into the other cars not learning about the, the you know the braking zones and the tracks and the cars this is definitely a winner there's already a huge amount of tracks and cars in this uh, alpha um, and there are more coming on the actual launch. So if you if you weren't sure you're on the fence about this or a set of Corsa, 
this has got the full weather dynamics it's got better physics in my opinion more visceral the audio is incredible and it's got car damage which a set of course it doesn't have so in the meantime i'll let you watch the rest of this tiny little replay you can't actually change the camera on this one for some reason um but yeah give us a thumbs up and subscribe i'm going to be doing some more videos and thoughts on the videos coming soon but so far this is an absolute winner for me absolutely brilliant